Hey guys, this is your friend Mainar from Civil Center, and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Revit structures. So, friends, this is the part three of the video on complete video tutorial of Revit structures of G plus two building design. So, if you haven't watched the first two videos, you can go to the checklist and then watch those. So, uh, first of all, we had completed the modeling part of the plinth level and the ground floor slab. That is the first slab of the building and we had also inserted the reinforcements in our footing and our columns and for the columns we had you know placed our stirrups uh, to the next level so two more levels will make and after that we can copy the stirrups uh, to the remaining levels so we can do that uh, but first of all uh, let's copy the reinforcement to all the footings and uh, other columns so before doing this it has to be maintained that uh, if we want to copy reinforcement from one uh, particular member to another, the member sizes should be the same. So in this uh, particular model, all the member sizes that is the uh, columns and the footings are same. So we can afford to do that. So how to copy them, we'll show you. So first of all, let's just select uh, this uh, particular file here. This uh, columns reinforcement here. So entire column we have selected and uh, we have the option of filter here. So we'll just keep on the structural rebar that is uh, 10 structural rebars and then OK. And then uh, we'll go to level 1 or the foundation level and then uh, we'll click the option of copy. So make sure you click this multiple and constraint uh, before copying this. Uh, so constraint will keep the reinforcement in inside the footings and avoid any warnings. So after that you click on copy, uh, choose this as your reference point here and after choosing this you can just simply uh, copy this so one by one you can copy uh, this uh, reinforcement to all the particular uh, footings so right now we have copied this and we'll just click on escape and uh, here after clicking on escape uh, we can go to the 3d view and check uh, the reinforcement which has been done here uh, using the shift and mouse middle cursor we can rotate the model and using the mouse middle cursor we can pan the model here like this the anchor sign so as you can see the reinforcement has been done here so after that we just put level 1 and select the reinforcement again and filter again only the structural rebars and then uh, just ok and then you go to the visibility and enter the visibility of them also just do this view as open secure view as solid and then OK and then as you can see in the 3D model it will be visible so uh, the rebars have been copied so now what happens uh, let's select all these uh, rebars here filter here and only the uh, structural rebars let's select and uh, for selecting the entire rebars from up to for up to the top level as you can see here some of the stirrups have not been selected so let's just uh, select the entire models uh, make our span of selection larger and then uh, go with the filter option and uh, only the particular structural rebars are selected here apply and ok now uh, we can go to level 1 back again and uh, we can click on copy so we can uh, copy this from one point to another point right now so copy to this point and copy it to this point so it is constrained in a particular direction right now it is working so next it is copied to this point and then click on escape and then what we can do is we can go to the 3d model uh, just select the entire 3d model zoom out and select the entire 3d model and after selecting that go to the filter option and go to the structural rebar just the structural rebar will keep as ticked and ok and then we will just change this particular visibility by, by going to edit view is unobscured, view is solid and then it is done and then go to level 1 or level, go to the 3d view click on escape and as you can see uh, rotate the model by using the mouse middle wheel button this has been done and you can see that all the footings and the columns have been copied so in this way we can copy uh, all the members in our particular model 
in the rabbit structures so now i uh, will start inserting the particular reinforcement for our beams in the next section so stay tuned with us and keep learning that's all for today and don't forget to subscribe and support us and also share with your friends bye bye